Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com, and in this video it's time for episode 158 of my question and answer series. I know it's been about a month and a half since the last episode, but I hope to finally be doing these episodes again weekly, or at least once every two weeks. From Freddy Malpartita, why did you choose the Galaxy S7 over the S7 Edge? I chose the S7 because I felt as though the curved screens on the S7 Edge were just too curved to where they would be easily tapped by accident. Finding quality screen protectors that'll work with a case is also pretty hard to find. So I just opted to get the flat S7, as it's called. The bigger screen and bigger battery would have been nice to have, but I'm really happy with the S7. Especially on the Android 7 beta that Samsung is providing. Standby times are noticeably better than Marshmallow. And while the power saver mode in Marshmallow was pretty good, it's even better in Nougat. Freddy also asks, what do you think about Trump becoming our president? I don't really have any judgment anymore. I think everybody should go at it with an open mind. Let's go ahead and see what somebody radically different than other presidents are going to do. People can assume and come up with theories all they want, but until he's actually inaugurated and actually in the office, I think everybody should just be quiet. Next, from David McBenge, what do you think about the new Zen chips coming out soon? I think Zen, now called Ryzen, is somewhat promising. AMD is really hyping up the new line of processors, which they pretty much have to do now given how far behind they are compared to Intel. I sure hope that they are able to compete with Intel, but given their past history over the past several years, I'm not entirely convinced that they're going to be able to make a comeback. A few weeks ago they had the big press event in Austin for the new Ryzen processors, but there are so many things that they didn't answer such as, I believe, price, for one. That's pretty important. And they only really compared their new processor with, I believe it was a 6-core Intel of some sort. So there's still a bunch of questions surrounding the new AMD processors, and it's kind of disappointing that AMD didn't give us more details. That tells me that they still aren't ready, and they're just taking such a long time to get there. Intel's desktop KB Lake processors are going to be out soon, so AMD is really taking their time to me. So that is it with episode 158 of my question and answer series. Tune in hopefully next week or the week after for episode 159. If there are any questions you would like me to try and answer, leave everything down below in the comments area. But that is it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next video.